Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back for another video. I'm Michael and this is another top stock pick video for the month of September. <laughs> if you missed last week's top picks, go ahead and go into the day trading section, the day trading playlist, and it should be the latest video in there aside from this one. Um, so you already know I got some more stock picks for you guys for the week. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you the top uh, movers of the picks that I chose for last week. So let's get into it, into that right now. <clears throat> so remember last week, Monday, the market was closed because it was Labor Day. So we started on Tuesday. Tuesday was a fresh day. So the top, uh, one of the top picks for that day was Coupa Software Incorporated. Ticker symbol COUP, and it came out after hours on Tuesday, which means uh, you could have played after hours into uh, per the pre market uh, Wednesday morning and all throughout that day. So it came out Tuesday, pre market, and it shot up around 14%. Uh, market open, it was around 11%, but the highest it got was around 14%, which is $18.94. Wednesday, September 4th, we had American Eagle Outfitters, American Eagle Outfitters, ticker symbol AEO, and that came out pre market. And that dropped around 12.72%, which is around $2.07. And it did recoup a little bit later that day, but not much. We got Thursday, September 5th, we had DocuSign. Ticket symbol D-O-C-U, and that came out after hours. So after hours, it came out, and it skyrocketed 20.54% at market open. Well, it was pre-market, it skyrocketed, but at market open, this is it was at, uh, it's, it shot up 20.54%. That was the highest it got as of the Friday, actually. Yeah, that was the highest it got as of the Friday, and that was around a $9.50 gain on that stock price that day. And Friday, we only had Brady Corporation, which we didn't see too much movement on this pre-market uh, come up, but it did shoot up around 6%, which isn't bad if you were to play that. You could have played that up or down because it did shoot right back down to right after market opening or say around 30 minutes after market opening, it shot down uh, around 3%. And that was just uh, one stock from each day that I picked. There were a few more stocks each day that you could have played, but these were the top movers out of the list that I gave you for each day. Now, there were other stocks um, for those days that I didn't give you in the previous list. But, like I said before, um, I picked these for a certain reason because I pretty much can guarantee that they're going to shoot up or down anywhere from five to like we've seen 20 percent on um docusign <clears throat> and the reason i'm picking these stocks to trade are because of something called a catalyst it's in the way we use a catalyst a catalyst is the reason is is, is the reason something is going to shoot up or down in value and our catalyst is earnings reports and each one of these days each one each day will have earnings reports for different stocks okay and they'll either come out pre-market or after market and the reason I picked these particular stocks is because they're either um, they're either high volume on earnings reports days, um, they're very well known, they're very popular, or the previous earnings reports, I know how they acted in the past, so I'm going to continue to play them in the future. If they come out with similar reports in the future as they did in the past, then I know how they those particular stocks will react. This is That's why I'm picking these stocks instead of... Um, all the other stocks that's coming out on these days. Now, when the earnings report comes out, they either come out pre-market or aftermarket. And whenever a report comes out aftermarket, you can you can play it. You can play it on the aftermarket hours, but you can also play it the next day too. Because remember, aftermarket and pre-market isn't available to everyone. All right, guys. Before we get into this week's top stock picks. I want you to go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Go ahead and completely destroy that button so we can continue to keep bringing you guys this awesome content and these great videos.
Also, guys, if you haven't heard, I started a Instagram account uh, directly linked to this YouTube account. So, anytime I'm not posting on YouTube, I'm posting on Instagram. I post there daily on trading, the stock market, personal finance, and all things money in general, and you know, self wealth and all of that. If you want to go follow me on the Instagram account, it is Financial Enlightenment Michael. I know it is a long name. Um, I'm going to eventually change the name of it, but I'm sticking with that for now. If you guys think you have a better name, if you can come up with a better name, go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you think I should change the Instagram account to. But if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And now let's go ahead and get to the meat of why you guys came here. So, so Monday, September 9th, we have ctrip.com international. Ticket symbol CTRP. It's uh, coming out after hours and it's currently trading at $34.92. We also have um, Frasia, uh, Freshia Inc. Uh, I know I probably didn't pronounce the name right, but uh, ticker symbol PHR. It is coming out after hours and it's currently trading around $25.26. Another name I probably won't be able to pronounce correctly. Um, Lemonaria, Lemonara <laughs> uh, Company. It's L ticker symbol L M N R. Uh, it's trading. It's trading after hours. I'm sorry. Uh, earnings report is coming out after hours, and it's trading around nineteen dollars and thirty six cents. Now Tuesday, September tenth, we have Dave and Buster's Entertainment. Ticker symbol P L A Y. Uh, it's coming out after hours and it's currently trading around $41.85. We have GameStop Corporation, ticker symbol GME. It's coming out after hours and it's currently trading around $4.25. Um, we also have HD Supply Holdings Incorporated, uh, ticker symbol HDS. It's coming out pre-market and it's currently trading around $40.29. We have RH, ticket symbol, RH. Uh, it's coming out pre-market and it's currently being traded at around $1.49. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's currently being trading, traded around $149.60. <laughs> Boy, I really messed that one up. All right. We also have Zscaler. Uh, ticket symbol ZS. It's coming out after hours and is currently being trading at $63.99. Now, Wednesday, September 11th, we have Aurora Cannabis, uh, ticket symbol ACB, is coming out pre-market and is trading around $6.17. Uh, we have Oxford Industries, ticket symbol OXM, it's coming out after hours and is currently being trading at around $73.55. Also, we have Love Sack Co. Ticker symbol L O V E, love. Uh, it's being traded pre market and it's being traded at around $17.50. September 12th, I'm sorry, Thursday, September 12th, we have Kroger Company. Uh, ticker symbol KR. It's being traded, I'm sorry, it's coming out pre market and it's being traded around $24.83. And finally, we have Mastercraft Boat Holdings Company. Ticker symbol MCFT. It's coming out pre market and it's currently being traded around $15.89. Now, guys, uh, all these prices I gave you where these are being traded at is um, it's for the previous Friday. So today is uh, September 8th. Sunday, all these prices were rec were recorded the Friday after hours. And with that being said, these are guaranteed to spike uh, anywhere from five to twenty percent in a day, as we've seen with the previous uh, companies I gave you. These will be spiking. Um, you just got to keep an eye on it. Keep an eye out for either aftermarket, uh, after hours, and pre-market. Keep an eye out for the earnings report. Make sure you uh, understand how to read the earnings report properly before you get into this. 
You need to learn what you need to look for in an earnings report. Okay, guys. Um, also, if you want to do your own research, if you if you you're like, hey, I don't trust this dude. I don't know. He don't know what, the, what he's talking about. Go to Nasdaq slash earnersreports.com. You can get all the same information on there. There is more information when it comes to the stocks, and there is more stocks. But I picked these stocks because, like I said, either I previously traded them, and I know how they're going to react when it comes to the same style type of earnings report if it comes out similar, or the volume is extremely high on trading days, uh, I'm sorry, on earnings report days, or it's internationally known, it's very popular, so I know it would draw a large crowd. Uh, so that's why I picked these stocks out of all the other ones coming out for these days. But, like I said, if you want to do your own, go to Nasdaq.com slash earnings reports, and it'll take you to this, and you just pick on the date, and it'll give you pretty much all the information plus more that I gave you here today. All right, guys, I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, matter of fact, I know you did, Go ahead, hit that thumbs up because it really helps out with a small channel like mine. It really helps me get pushed out there more. Um, and if you've already watched the, if you've made it here in the video, um, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you already haven't. And go ahead and hit that little notification bell to know the next time we come out with some more of these great videos that we make just for you. We're here to teach and we're here to learn together. Also, the Instagram account. Go ahead, let me know in the comments below what I should rename it, if I should rename it. If you have a better name, go ahead, drop it in the comments below. And go ahead and follow it if you already have not If you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with your boy, go ahead and click on one of these videos.